Hello. So today we're going to go um, over how to plant some potatoes in that bucket right back there. So this bucket, I was using it for an irrigation device, an uh, indoor garden that I had. Uh, rough neck. <laughs> It's not a laundry basket, but I drilled a bunch of holes in it using my tool here. Okay, so here's the planter. I put some weeds in the bottom. I'm gonna take some of this dirt and then I'm gonna take some of this bagged mushroom dirt I have and layer it with like weeds and then some of this dirt and then the mushroom dirt. And then in the middle, I'm gonna put some of these old shriveled up red potatoes, but they have a lot of eyes on them. So, we're just going to fill up the bucket. So this is the dirt I use. It's very cheap and it's black. It's good dirt. And then I just, I'm going to pour some of that in. Alright. So we're getting there. I don't want to pack it down too much. Okay, so I bought these potatoes. I kind of let them go bad, kind of on purpose, but look at those great eyes that are on that potato. Those are going to grow really good. All right. Oh, I got right next to that. Wow, there's a lot of worms in here. That's awesome. Ooh, look at that. That at warm is, I'm so excited about this. So like I said, I live in zone seven. We water everything here. Water is a scarcity and good dirt. So you really have to struggle to grow things here. Hey guys, April 8th, 2021. Look at my potatoes. Hey guys. So it's April 11th, 2021. Here's my red potato. Look, April 30th, 2021. Look at this potato plant. Hey guys, July 10th, 2021. Look, these potatoes are starting to really grow. I'm going to have to dump this over and start a new one. Hey guys, I want to show you something really cool. I was watering and look. You can see that. There's a red potato in there. See it? I can feel it. Oh, it's floating to the top. Let's get it and let's see what it looks like. Hey, that's pretty cool. Hey guys, July 11th, 2021. Look, I'm gonna do my potatoes today, the big reveal. I planted these back in March and look, another one's starting to come up. This one kind of died, but now we're getting some more. This is my crop. Not very much, but I think the potato I put in there, I cut it, which I pro I think about it. I'm like, just put the whole potato in there. So I'm going to look through some of these potatoes. This one's already getting eyes on it. So I want to put these in my garden, any of these. I'm going to put a couple of these to the side. The ones that look like I could grow something out of them. I think that's it. Okay, and then we're going to put the rest of these in the water. I just soak them really good. And I, you know me, I like to soak them for like, I don't know. We'll soak them for about 10 minutes and get the rest of these ingredients together. Okay, guys, so this is a super easy recipe. It's going to take about an hour to cook, to bake these potatoes. Okay, guys, so let's put this in the oven. Hey, guys, so I'm going to check on this. It's been about 20 minutes. Looks pretty good. Let's stir it up a little bit. 
always like to just stir it just so things aren't sticking to the bottom. And then I'm going to put a piece of tin foil over the top of this just to avoid splattering. But it's looking good. Okay, so that's looking really good. So, yeah, I just wanted to put that tin foil on top of there so that we have less mess to clean and it can splatter on the tin foil. Okay guys, so these are done. The alarm went off. Let's take this tin foil off. Okay, those are looking pretty good. Let's see. Let's just see how soft they are. Oh yeah. All right, let me get these to the table. Oh yeah, those look really good. Look at the garlics roasted. They're very soft. Yeah, those are done. Let's just put some in a bowl. I want a little bit of that garlic. And we'll have a taste test. Okay guys, this is the moment of truth, the taste test. Let's try these. They look really good. It's a garden to table creation. Get a little bit of this garlic. Mm. Oh, those are good. Garden to table creation. Bye, guys. Bye.